Hello guys, welcome to another video. Today I am going to be reacting to a video about a guy, uh, like a news reporter who decides to just eat meat in front of a vegan feminist. Sounds fun, so I just thought I'd give it my first reaction and see what it looks like. Let's go. Eating meat creates toxic masculinity according to a university professor. <laughs> Eating meat is bad for you, it's bad for the country, and it reinforces... I'm not going to lie, I eat a lot of meat, like chicken and beef and stuff, I love so that, so I'm Joining already against now, it. Dr. It does taste Parson. good. Okay, doctor. Why is eating doctor. meat bad, really? Well, well, we have to back up because you, I think at the beginning, just said eating meat creates toxic masculinity. Mm -hmm. Toxic masculinity is already there. It's oh already God, there. Just making, already. The does up. eating meat make toxic masculinity worse? It's one of the ways in which it can reinforce existing kind of social structures, including patriarchy. Well, how does that reinforce social structures that where men dominate eating meat? This yeah, it's guy's really asking good questions. We'll break it down for a, How about this know, though? You said we had four or five minutes, right? Just keep it simple. How does too eating complicated meat already. make the genders unequal? Eating meat holds um, a lot of symbolism. And it really is <laughs> too much to explain in four minutes. But it has to do with the fact that our individual oh, level, level decisions, uh, the things we decide okay. to do as individuals. If you um, eat meat as a dude, you are not a feminist bodies, anymore. You are not. You are against the genders if you eat any chicken as a man. Acts. Okay. It's not right? fair to Personal women eat. Okay. Oh my God, this is so, so good. I'm having a steak right now. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> I hear you. I oh, have thug that, life. But this doesn't look vegan, and I'm trying to be vegan. You're a vegan? I'm really, it's really hard because I don't know if I told you I'm from Wisconsin. Okay. And uh, cheese it was like one of my favorite things. Oh, so she's it, trying to be vegan, good. but she's eating rare, cheese. rare, medium rare. Yeah. Is Got this some nice dead animal, dead cow hanging on your fork. Is this <laughs> bad? Oh, please eat it. Meat? <laughs> That's a totally different story, right? This so guy gives zero house. fucks. Right now, you're what a legend. Oh my god, what a legend. I love this guy. Not very fair. What if they want to hunt meat or what if they want to raise cattle? Oh, totally. But <laughs> He looks directly at the camera. He's like, life, but what if um, they want to raise cattle? That we should really be <laughs> And he's still eating. <laughs> now he's just enjoying the steak. He's like, I don't give a fuck. society by how it treats their animals. And we. You know, it'd be great if we had universal health care for our animals. Universal health care for animals. That could be expensive. Um, we can afford it. <laughs> really? Because we're $20 <laughs> trillion dollars in debt. Um, God, this guy's wrecking money. her. Oh, <laughs> my God. Do you God. care more about people or animals? I care about um, our world. And I think in order for us to achieve a more sustainable future, particularly regarding what's happening with climate change, we need to figure out how the 7.6 billion of us on this planet can be good neighbors and we're really bad at being good neighbors right now okay so like why should i be Up a good neighbor true. to a squirrel this guy <laughs> oh she's this oh she's lost nature, it right if you if you keep killing oh, nature, these captions are wrecking her as well us, right if we as people keep killing nature me too right like i still eat cheese a lot it's not like something that's going to be perfect. We're never going to be perfect at it. But what if you're just hungry killing and the love. animals are there for us to enjoy for dinner, for lunch? Because God says so. He's just eating, he's just eating the steak. Well, Look I at mean, this guy. Why would they taste so good if we weren't supposed to eat them? Sugar <laughs> tastes good. Oh, I love this guy. Yeah, I eat sugar too. Obesity, diabetes. Well, I mean, I have some sugar, but... I mean, you clearly have a lot. I don't just pour sugar down my throat. <laughs> you clearly have some things around like, who you are that protect you, uh, and like, especially a lot of, I think, financial resources to like do things like buy really expensive stuff. Oh, she's calling him out um, on his finances. So that's also part of the problem is that some people are really taking up more than their fair share of, you know... Wow, only rich so people get to eat meat? The rich people are stealing all the steak from the poor people. <laughs> okay, well, you know what? I got a book for you. I'm going to go take the steak and I'm going to go give it to a homeless guy out on 6th Avenue. Go for it. Um, I'm gonna, you were saying you needed a book for Christmas. Thank you very much. I will take your book and I will take a bite of the steak. And this is the book I'm reading. And it's delicious. <laughs> Oh my god. What an absolute legend. Oh man, I love this guy. What's his name again? Greg Greg something. Greg Co Gutfield? Greg Gutfeld. Wow. So good. God, I enjoyed that. Oh, my eyes are actually watering. Oh. 
Anyways, thanks for watching this reaction. Um, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. It'll be up here somewhere. And um, yeah, thanks for watching. If you're here uh, looking for the small subscribers, that I'm, I'm going to be doing that reaction um, sometime within the next week. So keep tuned and I will see you next time. Bye.